Lumos. Lumos. Alright, so... I guess now we are supposed to go and... You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Oh god, poor statue of Ignatia Wildsmith? Wildsmith? She only has two sentences, I think. I'm not gonna lie, it gets annoying pretty quickly. <laughs> Never a dull moment when I go home for the holidays. Last year my mother swore she had a banshee. A banshee. Leap for fear that one of us was doomed. I adore decorating for the holidays. Um, let me open my map here. Not my Marauder's map, but my field guide. And we are going to meet Professor Weasley. Uh, let's follow the way. Actually, first, I want to do something here, which I... Which I saw that you can do. Is that you can... Hide the mini-map. Just so that we have one thing less in our screen here. Yes, it is. Okay, we're gonna do that so we have all of that side clean. Just to be a bit more immersive. And I would want to get rid of that icon as well, which shows the path. But well. Let's, let's do it like this for now. We don't really need a mini-map, because as you can see, we have the magical book in here. Which will just show us the way. And in, honestly, much cooler than a mini-map. <laughs> so walking down these marvelous stairs that we saw the last time. And... All the way down, outside, okay. I think I, we are going to Hogsmeade. Can't wait to see Hogsmeade. Transfiguration Courtyard, alright. So I was correct. It does look a bit like it from the movies. But I like the addition of this fountain thing here. My family's owl is getting too old. Half of the letters end up in the local pond. Oh no. Their hours getting old? How many stories there are? I wonder. Because they talk about so many things. As I said, I could just sit close to them and be <laughs> um, overhearing their conversations all day. Well, let's begin the quest. Talk to Professor Weasley. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Um, again, um, I mean, hasn't Professor Fig talked with you about any of this? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Uh-huh. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a Streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. What? More work? How dare you? <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, Professor Ronan mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here 
including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Marvellous. All right, so need to do a few tasks before I can go to Hogsmeade. Sounds fair or not. <laughs> so there really is an Ollivanders here. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Great, that's very convenient to have him so close. Um, what's a spellcraft? What more can you tell me about the potions shop? What a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. Okay. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. All right, transfiguration. Now can you tell me something else about the potions shop? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Mm-hmm. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. All right. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, I have to make a choice. Natty. Natty was the one from Uganda. And then Sebastian, which we fought with. Oh, God. I don't know now. Oh, God. I think I... I think I'm gonna go with Sebastian. It's gonna, it's gonna be a, you know, the boy's gonna go to Hogsmeade. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Oh, all right. Oh God, I'm excited to go to Hogsmeade. It's gonna be, it's gonna be wonderful, I think. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Okay. Lead the way, magical book. Oh, but first of all... Revelio. There are a few things in here. A little chest in here. With money, of course. Money in a classroom. Why not? Oh, and there's a page over there. Let's go grab it. Reveal yourself. Partial Transfiguration. The partially transfigurated teacup, likely the soon-to-be-reversed error of a second year, serves as a cautionary tale for those students who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of transfiguration. This is certainly uh, a nod to, to Ron's scene in the Chamber of Secrets, isn't it? Yes. Um, when he couldn't turn his rat into a cup, to a chalice, right? Yeah. All right, so he's right over here. Let's do our tasks. I want to go to Hogsmeade. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. 
I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. All right. Um, I'm not going to even ask what is the purpose of the task. I'm just going to complete the task. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. I see. It's kind of like one of those karate kid things, you know? Oh, are you going to teach me karate? Ah, uh, yes, I will. But first you need to clean the bathroom and the floor and the windows. And This is the right area. Got it. Okay, so... Gonna go through here. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Accio. Brilliant. Anything else? No? Okay, I can go back. Wonderful. Let me learn reparo. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. No. I wonder now if I learn reparo. Will it be able to mend a broken heart? I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember. Your wand is a conduit Let's go. Magic. These are very simple, actually. Oh, but now they have different things, okay. It's not just X. I have to push. I need to push, push square as well. Okay, fine. So they get more difficult with time, I suppose. The mending charm can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Alright, so not... Broken hearts. That's it. Very good. It's useless if for me. If you'd like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Oh, how... How... How appropriate that we... We both touch the same topic. All right. It can't mend the broken heart, but it can mend... A statue that symbolizes it. Reparo. All right, wonderful. Not as spectacular and fancy as Professor Fig with that bridge, but it will do for now. Um. Revelio. Anything else? Oh, you here. What do you do? Repairer. No. Oh, oh wait. Um well let's Levioso. Yeah, that works. Okay. For some reason Levioso will do. There was a little symbol in the bottom part of the statue. And... Revelio. Mm, there's another page in here. I need to grab all of these. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration culture has likeness of a Vinern. I think that's how you say it, or Wyvern. On top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumours to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadagan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Wai. Is that how I say it? Slain by the lovely knight in spite of himself. Okay, so Sir Cadagan claiming the statue is for him, okay. Classical Sir Cadagan, right there. Okay, so now, book, lead away, no, don't want to do it, okay, I need to select uh, an objective, don't I, I do. Mm. 
now you lead the way. Yes, wonderful. I'd like to say. Ugh. Oh. What am I missing? Um, is this a side quest? It is a side quest, isn't it? The Nora Everly. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. What could it be? Have you learned anything about it? No? Are there other paintings like this here? Well, have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Um, are there other paintings like this here? Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Um, perhaps I'll have a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Okay, so... Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Um... Something illuminating. Lumos! God, it worked! That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. It worked! What a miracle! Because of the maths. It works with Lumos. Alright, I'm a genius. Mm. And... It seems to be a staircase. Alright, so... Something like this. Revelio. Anything? It looked like this. But wait, let me have a look again on it. It's kind of difficult to memorize the image. Lumos. There's a statue. There's a statue, so it's not down here. Um. Well, Madame Kigawa, oh, flying page! Come on. Accio. Gotcha. Down here, perhaps. Lumos. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? I was right. Revelio. Is that it? Statue of Gregory the Sarmi. The Smarmi. Smarmi. The Smarmi. Wow. This statue with an ingratiating. Ingratiating. Sorry about my English, everyone. Apparently, I'm still learning. <laughs> this statue with a ingratiating grin depicts. The Pikes depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Oh my god, that's a wonderful potion. I need that. At least like 10 doses of it or something. And here is a moth. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, alright, so... That's what we are supposed to do. Okay. Let's go. We found out what to do. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. And I want a field guide page. Wonderful. Mm, she's up there, alright. Lenora, you're not gonna guess what just happened. Lenora! 
I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> I followed I followed the clues. What else? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Mm. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! <laughs> uh, calm down. You're gonna get it next time, hopefully. The moth I isn't even the, the worst part of it. It's trying to figure out where is the location in the Accio. painting. That's the most difficult part of it. Oh, what she's what he's carrying there? Is it a painting? It is a painting. I didn't see that before. Carry a painting and a, a feather flying with him. Okay. Curious things, and these ones are enjoying some candy. Oh, someone prodded a mimbleless mimbletonia in the common room. Stinks up everywhere. Mimbleless mimbletonia. Can I can I grab some some candy in the in the hogs meat shops as well? Do they have honey dukes already? Rumor has it there's a secret passage leading to hogs meat. Where do the professors? Surely they don't share a common room like 